Hello there, viewers, and of course I'm back in, you guessed it, Revhead! And I have got the Turbo Wally right in front of me, which is going to be dismantled. And thank you to the person who commented on the last episode, giving me a few tips and hints, and I tell you something, I checked it. One part of it, at least, and it is true. So you're going to have your icon somewhere on screen around about now. But before I get into that, I need to actually ask you if you could kindly go ahead and turn this red car into gray, as in hit that subscribe button and like in the video and possibly sharing out my content i really do appreciate it and it really does help out the channel and of course i appreciate you all so with all of that out in the wind let's get this up on the lift and now i need to remove every single part but if there is a part that is damaged or broken it needs to come straight off and fixed instead of just removing it so i have to remove each part separately so i can actually keep track of everything i thought this car was used but everything on it is saying a hundred percent I am kind of confused about that. I'm sure it said it used a turbo. Anyhow, what I'm going to be doing with this is just tuning my other car. There we go. And then I will be giving myself a challenge. And that challenge is restoring a car. There we go. Get this all sorted out and removed there you go and basically what that entails is me buying a wrecked car and basically restoring it to full health 100 percent across the board and i can't wait for that i'm actually eager but for today's challenge is to just make my original Wally better. And there's the turbo. Here we go. Off you go. And now for the engine. And everything is golden. I've struck a deal here, I'll tell you something. But to be honest. I'm actually doing this so I can actually get the other uh, car to the max, to be honest. Right. If I'm missing anything from the other car, I can easily take it from this box and then put it onto the other one. That's good. Got the exhaust, rear muffler can go. There we go. Nothing at the front is left. Right. This is actually going quicker than I actually thought. But there is one big task what I have to actually do before I actually go on and before I complete the other car. Just a small task of repairing everything in my boxes. Because if you repair items and then sell them later, you get more money back as well for doing that. There we go. So basically, fix everything before selling the box or the actual sashi you'll get a bit more for it so that is everything i do believe yeah 
So, let's get you down. And let's get over to the parking bay. Go on, parking. And I need you. So, let's tow you into the garage. Fantastic. Go back into the parking. And sell you. There we go. Don't need you no more. Got to remember the box. That's where it came from. And see you later. Brilliant. Perfect. Now, get the boxes up. And I have all this to get through. So all this needs to be looked at and repaired. So this should be the box from the car I just sold, as you can see. All 100% across the board, so that's fine. So let's go to you. And obviously the bed is new, which is cool and fantastic. And then the Nanu. Of course, I need to repair whatever I can do. So I'll do that now off camera. But actually thinking about it. Have I got a tow bed for the Nanu? No, I haven't. That's fine. So, on to repairing. Well, there we go. That has took a lot of my money and a lot of time to actually do that. Everything is repaired. What could actually be repaired? So this car is now going to have an overall. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if I actually pick the correct things. So what I'm actually looking for is trying to get more horsepower. So that means engine block. This is a V6. I would like it to be a V8. So I need to actually remove everything here. But before I do, I wonder if it's going to show me something here. Right, going to you. And it's not telling me the sale price. All right, then. So I know I need to actually remove this whole entire engine. So let me just do that now. There we go. Just get this removed. Is actually better. Wait a sec. Generator, it was that one. Drive belt, remove. There you go. Don't need. Thank you. And ignition, I don't want to leave anything attached to anything. You actually get a better price when you sell stuff when it's not attached to anything else. So that can be removed there you go so that engine is now gone let's look into here and look at the box that's all right set license plate first okay then just have to look for that box then and that should be this one so this has just come from this car so we're going to here can't fix that can fix this now look at the actual selling price that is how much you're going to get now and add nine pound or nine dollars to this so that is 304 so fix there you go three two four it sells for so you're making a little bit of profit there so it's always best to separate everything and then make sure that they are fully repaired before you sell. Goodness me. Right. Shall we uh, just... I don't think I need this box. But you know what? I'm going to just go through it to actually fix it. Here we go. So it's all done and dusted. I don't have to worry about anything. 
Because you never know, I might be using some of these parts. I don't know exactly how this is actually going to shape up. To be honest. I don't know if they've got their own categories, what they fit in. Numbers and all of that jazz. Or pump. So that, there we go. So, everything's done. Now, I need to find... There it is. The ball. So, we have got at the moment this one which is just totally worn so that's nothing we have got this one here the rxv8 and that is giving me four two or one flow I'm saying this all quick because I have to remember it. Five, seven. That is one, and it was going to give me uh, four, eight. But it looks like this one is the better one. So let's go ahead and install that. There you go. And then click on the engine and get everything attached which i can do okay that's a shame only worn out stuff that's for a nanu anyway is it yeah nanu why can i mismatch okay Right, this is kind of confusing. Why can I fit a nano carburetor in here? That's a bit odd. Brand nano, okay. Does that mean... Huh. That is actually kind of confusing. Because I couldn't fit that in, but it clearly says brand nano. So I guess I only can put this V8 in. All right, then. Fair dues, I don't mind. I'm actually learning here. And I did actually check, even though it is saying a different brand, this engine did come from this particular car brand. That's fine. So let's go ahead. And yet again. Can I even have a V8 in this? Or am I just reading too much into this? And it's totally fine. Right, let's have a look at the uh, newspaper you down Go over here have I got any yes factory order custom any v8 have I'm sure I took out a v8 from one of these oh, I'm just all over the place I'm sure I did Never mind. You know what? Let's just go with the flow. I'm learning the game. So it's fine. You're allowed to be a little bit slower once you're learning the game. Once you've got the grips of it, it should be fine. Carburetor, it's just... Mismatch. Is that the same with everything? Starters, fine. Spark plugs, fine. Yeah, I actually have not got a clue. Let's just stick with this one and we will we'll go 
with this one because it actually matches the actual car brand itself. So the air filter as well. And I don't want to go for the 100% one because I do need that for something else. So we'll just go for this one. Inline extra performance. That sounds perfectly fine. It's all the same. Got a sports one here, which I picked up in the last episode, but yet again, shouldn't that say brand mismatch? I don't know how this game actually works properly. So that's installed. So where is it? Water pump. Doesn't matter. Water pump's a water pump, I guess. So, go for this one. Install. Carburetor. Go for that one. Ah, there it is. Install. And oil filter. This one. And starter. Doesn't matter really which. The mass is the same on all of them, apart from that one, because that's for a truck. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Installed. Generator. And are they all the same? 2.8. Yep, yeah, it's all the same. I'm trying to keep with the actual brand, same as the car. So install you. And there was the generator, drive belt, used. There we go. And ignition. There we go. And thermostat. That is fine. Spark plugs, there you go, and last but not least, the exhaust, there we go. Oh, well, there we go, that is the engine. And we're at two, three, or five horsepower, I do believe the car was 225 so i've put 10 horsepower on already right now what about can i get underneath transmission all right there we go and let's go ahead have a look of fixie remove fix remove and there it is so what about you mass 41 speed 4 okay 50 44 41 so it looks like it's this one all right then let's install that and then clutch i guess it's all generic so install that's brilliant and let's have a look at the differential so remove pop you in and got this one. 23, 195. I think this is better. So let's go ahead and install that one. I need to have a look at the box for this car. There you go. Where is differential? There you go. 
because I need to remove everything. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Brilliant. And I think that is it. Actually, let's check the radiator. Can I get a better one? Um, they're all the same. Okay, then. It's fine. And intercooler. Does it need an intercooler? I think it does. You know what? What's that looking like? Still 235? Let's try it out. So let's go for a ride. Right. Okay, then. By having a complete engine change, I didn't know it would actually delete the oil and everything. I've got no water in it, so no coolant. I'm going to have sports oil. Yes, thank you. And air. I'm going to have... There you go. That should be fine. Give it a wash. There we go. And I reckon that is it. Right, now, let's... No, oh, it's me clicking on the wrong buttons. This is me trying to get used to the game, learning it, try to experience it, and yet I'm failing. If I can just buy another one. I'm not ending this episode until I start that car. I don't know why I'm having so many problems with it. So, I don't care if I have to buy a new one. Just please. For oh, the life of me, give me a, oh, a wrecked VA. You know what? That's what a VA. I just want a VA. Goodness me. Right. Parking lot. Let's have you towed in. Thank you very much. Get up on here straight away. Before you do my nut in. Right. You. Starter. 60%. I'm allowed to fix it as well. Remove. Oh, goodness me. Just nuts, it really is. Is that all I really needed? Was a starter. Right. I can do this repair off camera, selling everything off camera. All I want is get this pigging car started. That's it. That is all. Please. For the living night. Uh, wait. What? Start is fine. It's the ignition. Oh my god. It's the ignition. I am going to lose it. I really am. I thought. It was the actual starter. I've been looking for starter. And I've been buying newspapers because I couldn't find it and it ends up being the ignition. Now, now I know 100% what I'm looking for. And I'll tell you something. I'm editing this episode to the max. Just because. Right. Why can't I fix everything? Seriously. Why can't I do that? 
I just would like to fix everything, make sure everything's fine, and that's it. Be on my merry way. But nope, I have to just go as it is. Right. I know I'm spending more money than I should be, but hopefully, you know what? It actually works in the end. Oh, goodness me. Right. Now. And if you actually did notice, when I actually clicked on the engine there, the branding was Euro. So that is fine. Right. So, ignition. Remove. Ignition. Install. Engine started. Thank you. Oh, mighty great one. And look at that. What is going on? What did I install to actually make this have that much of a boost? I have succeeded. That is kind of a shock. To be honest, I have succeeded. It doesn't sound healthy at all it really doesn't is it because it's too lean it really doesn't sound healthy at all i don't know how to actually sort that out and the drive shaft, I do believe, is just generic. Yeah, it is. Everything is just generic, really. Everything was on here. What about the exhaust? Let's see. Remove that. And where's that circle? There it is. And yeah. It's all generic. So I don't know what is actually happening there. I might need a better air filter to smooth it out. But you know what? I'm actually going to end the episode there. This is going to be a horrible episode. I know it is. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for that i really do appreciate it this has been a massive learning curve for me it really has learning how the game actually works learning all the mechanics about the actual cars because i'm not a mechanic myself in real life and this is more than i expected i play car racing games but this game is delving deeper than I actually thought so the episode is going to end soon but for the next episode what my challenge is to get this heap of junk restored and sold for a better price than I paid for it and hopefully We'll actually sell the rest of the other bits as well. What I've accumulated. We'll actually get my money back. But you know what? For now, this is of course the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do like this game. I'm just learning. So please bear with me. And remember, appreciate you all. And hopefully you'll see me in the next one. Bye.